top of the week to y'all. The uh, the English language is full of curses and spells, hence why we learn how to write in cursive and how to spell in grade school. Each week we wake up, we awake in the morning to go to our jobs on the weekdays to earn a living. The translation of that, trance, T-R-A-N-C-E, awake is a funeral for the dead. Mourning is what you do when you lose a loved one. You have to be in a weekdays to earn a living since earn is the ashes, since earn are ashes for the dead. And job is Hebrew for persecution. And at the end of this, we get the weak end of the deal and we're weakened. So, happy Monday. Yo, Bob, you smoke. <laughs> oh, somebody said. <laughs> Somebody said smoking that good. I thought you said you ain't smoking that good. You ain't smoking that good, bruh. Yeah, I know smoking isn't good. I'm not perfect. It's not as bad as all this other shit out here. I was watching that Kingsman movie. Um, you know in that Kingsman movie? Uh the shit. I don't want to give nothing away. But there was a a, a fact in that Kingsman movie, that new Kingsman movie, they said uh Sugar is like five times more addictive than cocaine. I said, say what? But sugar is legal. Because of what's going on in this timeline, being a, a truther or a woke person who's, you know, studies conspiracies is no longer a lonely place like it used to be. But with that, it's two things that you got to remember. One, all the higher ups and um, the powers that be know about all the conspiracy accounts and they, they know exactly what you're going to post. So some of these headlines they put out be intentionally put out for all of y'all to broadcast to the people. So you got to understand it's a thin line between spreading information and fear porn. This moves 20 miles to the west and you and everyone you know are dead. And then secondly, like y'all can reach out to motherfuckers now and get their personal experiences and their accounts on what happened or what is happening, we don't no longer have to be bound by what one faction that controls all the textbooks and all the printing press or one new syndicate that tells everybody what happened. Like now you can reach out to people, like use that shit. The power's in your hand, motherfucker. I'm gone. Is Pizzagate real? What do you think? Nigga, what do you think? Do you know what, do you know what Satanism is? You know what satanic ritual abuse is? When something is just, you know how you just know something is true? And you like feel it right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what this is. This is how you discern shit. Like all this shit right here. This is how you discern what's true or not. Like this is is just like your mind. They teach us that our mind is like the shit that figures everything out, but that's not true. This is this brain controls your body and all your motor functions and all your organ and bodily functions, but. This is where you exist. This is your center. You know what I'm saying? So it don't it don't matter what I say or what nobody else say, what the president say, what anybody say. You know what the fuck when you feel that shit right here. That's what the truth is. All right. First book, Dark Light Consciousness. Dark Light Consciousness by Edward Bruce Bynum, Ph.D. <clears throat> he breaks down... Uh, sacred geometry of course he breaks down the, the he goes in depth about the inner workings of the body uh, uh, how melanin operates in the mind um, the double helix he, he really goes in depth it's very deep in depth for you logical people that really need to, to logically explain to your mind what's happening somebody said uh, digital world Everybody been asking me about Bitcoin. A lot of people been asking me about Bitcoin. Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about Bitcoin. I mean, I know what it is. I know it's cryptocurrency, and I know it cannot be uh, under the jurisdiction of any one government. But. It could be, it could be a cryptocurrency for the new matrix, the next level. Cause I mean, you know, I think 
I think they're very well aware everybody uh, is investing into a new reality and digital digital currency is like the uh, you know it's, it's the new currency it's, it's the new currency for the for the new matrix niggas is trying to make a lot of people that find out about this cloning stuff um, find it very frightening and yes it is it is scary and a lot of that fear comes from the fact that we've been programmed to believe that we're the only sentient beings on the planet. I mean, on the plane. So Astrodynamics by uh, uh, Bruce, uh, I'm sorry, Robert Bruce, Astrodynamics talks about the, um, talks about the energy, talks about a different energy body. Um, if anybody's ever had sleep paralysis, where you woke, wake up and you can't move, but your mind is awake, or um, if you feel yourself falling back into your body when you go to sleep, or if you see shadows, or whatever it is that you see, this book really breaks down uh, what's actually happening. People are getting caught up in like in beliefs and religion and everything people be saying. And that's the shit that keeps us separated, because it'd be like, well, you don't believe this? Well, nah, if you don't believe this, we can't. Nah, man, fuck that nigga, he don't believe this. Oh, she don't believe that? Nah, man, she don't believe that. Nah, man. That's how they do it. It's so basic. It's like so, it's so, and I'm not talking about like, and I'm not talking about like, I ain't talking about like people that, uh, like there's certain people that if you don't click with, you don't click with them, and that's it. You don't give it your energy. But, you know, I feel like it's so counterproductive to like, for there to be this ongoing debate about who believes what and why you believe this and why this person's wrong for believing this and why that person's wrong for believing that and that shit's old. That shit's for the birds. That shit's what slaves do. Are you a slave? No, you're not a slave. You fucking you gonna build you gonna build with your people and you're gonna build with those who are like minded and and if they not then they not. So that's all that's that's all that's gonna happen. You dig what I'm saying? I know y'all dig what I'm saying. You wouldn't even be you wouldn't even be watching this live if you ain't dig what I'm saying. Cause I know y'all smarter than that. So I'm just you know I'm just you know I'm like a part of the reason why I'm I'm talking about all the shit I'm talking about is just because it's my purpose like to speak about it. Like I can't I can't help it. Like I literally cannot like making music and I'm not here to be no no prophet or no or no leader I'm just a messenger like I'm here to tell y'all some shit to help y'all critical think because the whole point is if 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 y'all ain't able to critical think on your own then what good am I doing you know what I'm saying and if you hating you getting blocked motherfucker so I've been doing my research on vaccines and vaccinations and such so I decided, you know, let me go to the CDC website and see what they have to say about vaccines. I went to the frequently asked questions and they says, you know, children should not get MMRV vaccine if they have ever had a life-threatening allergic reaction to a previous dose of MMRV vaccine or to either MMR or varicella vaccine. You should also not get the vaccine if you've ever had a life-threatening allergic reaction to any component of the vaccine, including gelatin or the antibiotic neomycin. So let's look up how healthy and safe neomycin is. In 2005-2006, neomycin was the fifth most prevalent allergen in patch test results. Neomycin, like other aminoglycosides, has been shown to be autotoxic causing tinnitus, hearing loss, and vestibular problems in patients. So I don't know, man. That's up to y'all. It's, it's your children. <clears throat> Someone said, are you actually happy? Of course. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Y'all need to watch this movie uh, called 13th Flow. 13th, the 13th, the 13th Floor? <coughs> y'all need to watch that shit. That shit's a very, uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like The Matrix. It's, I mean, obviously, it's not as good as The Matrix, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's like, it's basically, it's basically like one of them thought-provoking movies that challenges what reality is. 
because if re if if the mind makes reality real, what is reality? Like what what's real can't be defined by external means because uh if you read the book Holographic Universe, then you know that all reality we experience is illusionary phenomenon, is is auditive uh vibrational phenomenon that is sort of like projected through our through our uh through our mind and the mind is an apparatus for the soul um so y'all should check that out and so i'm saying that because someone asked me if i'm happy i'm like hell yeah i'm happy i'm happy because i choose to be happy i'm not happy because of any external means um, I'm happy because I choose to be happy. Some people ask me, you know, if, if the earth is flat, man, like, is the, are the other planets flat? Are the stars flat too? You can't hold on to old obsolete beliefs that you've been taught. Like everything that you've been taught is a lie. It's programming. Shouts out to all the people who bought telescopes and who got, you know, the cameras with the super zoom so you can actually see it for yourself. You can see this for yourself. Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot. He again breaks down how the mind creates the universe. He talks about how holograms work and how your mind visualizes holograms, the inner workings of all this shit and how the vibration and all that shit breaks it down. Michael Talbot. So look, I'm gonna take some questions, man. What's up? Ask me some questions. They really, they really fucking blocking my page right now. It's so crazy, I can't believe this. So last year I started talking about the cloning shit, and I didn't realize until this year that a lot of people don't understand what it is. Like they think it's just about like copying a person or replicating body tissue and that's not even yeah i've looked up planet nibiru planet x um but like it's not just about it's not just about um it's not just about uh copying copying a person it's about it's about a uh, consciousness transfer and it started with MK Ultra and the reason why this is important is because it's a lot of people that are unwillingly participating in this shit and they don't even fucking know it it's, it's mind control and it started it started with it started with Germany it started uh, after World War II uh, all the Nazis um, were you know escorted VIP'd in all the top uh, scientists and and military personnel were uh, um, were harbored in the United States and South America. And also, prior to that, the Nazis went to Antarctica. And a lot of the reason why Admiral Byrd went to Antarctica was because the Nazis went in, were in Antarctica. Yes, Warner Von Braun. Exactly. Fucking props. Aaron Badescu. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. My bad. But um, uh, Warner Von Braun is actually the cre he said he actually started NASA, I believe. Um, and on his on Warner Von Braun's uh tombstone, he has a Bible verse that talks about the firmament. So, um, I thought that was interesting. Two years like ago, I did an experiment to see if there was any truth to what's called microplasma laboratorium. I guess, but it's better known as Morgellons. Uh, I went and got a microscope, the most powerful microscope commercially available to buy, and I got raw cranberry juice. You have to get raw cranberry juice, not ocean spray or nothing that's you know processed. And you gargle it in your mouth for about two to five minutes. And basically, what this does is it pulls the the synthetic fibers, synthetic microfibers or the nanotech, out of your. I don't know if it pulls it through your skin membrane or if it just pulls it from your saliva glands. So I looked at the cranberry juice by itself to make sure there wasn't nothing in it so I could know what was already in it. You know, you could see like pieces of the cranberry skin or whatever. And so then I went and, and, and gargled it for about two to five minutes. And I spit it out and looked at it under a microscope and 
Clearly, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but there's something in there. And if you have uh, rubbing alcohol, you can pour it on it, and the motherfucking shit starts it's twitching. Crazy. That's not even the strangest part. The strangest part to me is that the medical community doesn't even classify this as a real substance. They say that it's delusional. They call it parasitosis or something. Delusional parasitosis or some shit. Some people even push these fibers out of their skin. Like their skin, some people's skin actually reject these fibers. So there's a lot of theories about what what this what this could be. Is is connected to smart dust, which um, is is synthetic nanobots found and also synthetic parasites that are found. And basically the theory is that these are put into our environment, into our food and water sources, so that they kind of act as sort of a conduit for all of the frequencies that are transmitted in the air from these elf towers and these Gwen towers. Every fourth of a mile you see these towers popping up, which aren't cell phone towers. And if you actually look at the specifications of these towers, they're way more powerful than what a cell phone tower should be. And yes, Jim Carrey is, is very awake. Let me ask y'all a question. Okay, this is how we're going to break it down. How many of y'all saw Jim and Andy, the, the shit on Netflix? How many of y'all saw that? Well, look, for the people who have seen it, y'all got to watch that shit. And he's, he's doing something called method acting where he's channeling uh, the spirit of uh, some people who have passed... Well, well, first of all, he's channeling this dude named Andy. Uh, I can't think of his last name, but this dude named Andy, and and he's also channeling this cre this this character that was made up. But he's really channeling their their spirit and their energy. And if anybody's been watching what Jim Carrey has been saying recently in in his interviews, he's talking about how Jim Carrey is just a character that he's playing. He's not even really here. So if Jim Carrey is just the character he's playing, as well as Andy and as well as Tony, who the fuck is Jim Carrey? Who is the dude that is behind the nigga playing Jim Carrey? That's the real question. So you gotta uh you gotta kinda think outside the box in terms of what's real and uh and what's actually happening. I also get asked a lot, am I a clone? Um, from my understanding, Donald has seen a clone of me in the cloning center. I am memory suppressed. However, I do have memories of what fit the description of the cloning center and the arena. Some people say, are you controlled opposition? Why are you just not talking about cloning? Why are you just not speaking up on these things? You're right to think that. But take this into consideration. If you're familiar with my song, Missing, Dr. Aiden, The Watchers, uh, my new black mixtape, you know that this is not my first time speaking out. I'm just now learning about cloning. Like, I just found out about it a couple months ago. And I was scared as fuck. When I first found out about cloning, I mean, I was fucking terrified. Like, supernatural shit was happening around my house. I was jumping out of my sleep, seeing shit. I got all types of knives and guns hanging out of my mattress and my pillows and shit. Like, I had to beef up my security. I was really scared for my life. I literally had to face the fear of death. I thought that when I spoke out about cloning, they were going to kill me. Like, I swear to God. Oh, mama. It's fascinating. It's fascinating how we can hear stories about, you know, Pablo Escobar, how one man took over a whole country damn near. You know, a crime syndicate, head of a crime syndicate, extorting all the politicians, all the law enforcers. But when it comes to America, we feel like we immune to that shit. Um, the Gnostics by, I'm not going to say the name, take a screenshot. Jacques like the air, I don't get. How about a textbook? Well, let, how about this? What's the bibliography for the textbook? The next time you read a textbook, look at the bibliography about where they got all the information from. Find the source information. How about that one? I'll do you one better. So, the Gnostics, he breaks down, um, good highlight, when, I don't know, Basile Day, I don't know, says that the world is an illusion. He does not mean that the world we live in does not exist, 
but that it exists in the form of an illusion. It is the mirage of another world as yet uncreated, unengendered. So, am I worried about the higher ups? Why would I be worried about the higher ups? We're, last time I checked, we was the most powerful people ever. So I don't know what, you know, I don't know what I be, what what I'll be worried about, what anybody else would be worried about. We cool, you know. I understand how creation works. I understand how protection works. It's nothing it's nothing anybody can do. But so anyway, after World War II the Nazis went to uh they went to Antarctica and found this fucking supercomputer. Um and this supercomputer was uh I ain't got no light. Here we go. And so this supercomputer was already there. In, under the fucking ice and um, it's kind of like that movie Prometheus where they go find that spaceship and it's like a supercomputer already in there and so uh, a part of the reason why Admiral Byrd went down there was they made it seem like he was just in, trying to explore Antarctica but he was trying to go see what the fuck the Nazis was doing and he got his ass turned back if you look at that interview it looks it looks like he's not really telling the truth about what he saw. Like you can tell something is like on his heart when he's talking. Like go look at that interview about Admiral Byrd. And so, so basically, um, uh, the Nazis coming to America and South America is what started Operation Paperclip, and it's what started the the CIA and the NSA. And so. Uh, the Central Intelli Intelligence Agency is actually um, is actually uh, like all of the the major Hollywood studios. They're actually the CIA, and that's why all this information gets put into these movies. Um, it's it's sort of like a soft disclosure, um, sort of like a predictive programming. I don't know, but like you ever see these movies, and it's just like, why the fuck are these secrets in these in this fucking movie? And it's like that's why it's CIA. It's behind it. And it's not even just like behind it. Like they literally are Hollywood. And so, um, uh, what was I? So anyway, I'm trying to, trying to be brief. So basically, uh, with Operation Paperclip, that's what started all the MK Ultra test, uh, tests and them grabbing people involuntarily, all the missing kids and missing people that were used for MK Ultra, and what they would do is they would tra they would experiment with tr uh, consciousness transfer, where they could transfer your consciousness, and and also um, they could replicate DNA, they could replicate your your body, they could replicate your body, put you in another body, train you to be an assassin or of uh, fucking anything and and then transfer you and then and then wipe your memory and transfer you back into your original body and and you think that you just had a crazy ass dream and and it, it happens different it happens different for 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 different people like certain people were like kidnapped and kept on on these bases you know what I'm saying and then Maybe they were like brain. They, were, they trained them, transferred their consciousness, trained them, put them back in their original, original body, put them back into society as some Hollywood actor or artist that just pops up out of nowhere. You never heard of him, or a president, or a news anchor, or the CEO of a huge multi-billion-dollar company. And then uh, somebody said, "How do you awaken your Kundalini? Kundalini is already there. That's one thing that you gotta understand. Your Kundalini is already there, and it's already happening." It's just about you recognizing when it happens, and it's not some special feeling that's like, that's like only, only left for the gods. The first time that I contacted Donald, there was a tremendous amount of interference. I mean, the footage got distorted. There were helicopters and planes and shit flying over my house. Airplanes. That song was written and produced before I ever got a hold of it. It was actually intended for Lupe. Y'all gotta understand how this shit work in this industry. Like, this shit is all set up. Like, talk to Lupe about airplanes. He'll tell you. Shouts out to Lou. Even the Illuminati, the 13 bloodlines that run the world. Look up. This is not even no theory, y'all. This You can look up the 25 banks that own ev everything. Nigga, everything? Nigga, everything. 
And, you know, we feel like we're doing something because, you know, we find out, you know, who Rockefeller is and, you know, we find out who the Rothschilds are. And we're like, man, figured it out. No. All of them are just puppets. You think the government and the politicians are puppets? Well, even the Illuminati's puppets. It's something much darker behind all it of that It doesn't matter if somebody calls you crazy. It really doesn't. At this point, the shit that's finna happen, the shit that they finna do, you think people calling you crazy is the worst that could happen? You got you got two different types of people. You know, you got the people that are like, you know, that doesn't make sense. Like, explain that to me. You got people like that. Don't turn those people away. And then you got some people that are just like, this is stupid, you fucking idiot. This is dumb. Like, don't even don't even smack them people. Like, it's a waste of time. They're they're angry because they can't even express themselves. They don't have the vocabulary or the knowledge to express themselves. If you let yourself become entangled with those people, then you're just letting the same negative parasitic entity feed off of your energy and siphon off your energy that's using them. With trolls, like fuck the trolls. But the people who have real questions and really want to understand it, then, you know, have a There's conversation. something behind that. Something that's been going on and it's finally being disclosed, it's coming out. That's why all these people is trying to get this information out about the pedo gate, all this information coming out about the sex trafficking, the organ, organ trafficking. We in the time of disclosure. Everybody is risking their lives to put this information out just to, just to get a tiny bit of y'all. Gnostics, Gnosticism, I recommend getting uh, both of these books, the Gnostics and Gnosticism, Ancient Traditions of Inner Working, and the Gnostic Bible, which is what the Bible is based off of. For you people who just want to read the Bible and it's like, no, that's it. This is where the Bible comes from. The table of contents is banging. Um, talks about the creation of reality, the fall of Sophia. Fuck yeah, collective light. You paying attention. I'm fucking with it. Breaks the shit down. No questions. No assumptions. Um, the Pale Fox. The Pale Fox by, um, I don't know how to say these names correctly. Just take a screenshot. The, 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 the Pale Fox talks about, it goes in depth into the Dogon tribe. Um, they got a lot of great, they even uh, describe how the Dogon listed the heavenly bodies. Like uh, the pole star was eye of the world. Um, Venus was called star of the goat herds. The goat herds, I think. Um, the rising sun was sun of the east. Summer, they had like everything broken down and even Jupiter was called a star. So planets always meant wandering stars and back then they didn't even call them planets. They called them all stars. And the Dogon, sacred symbols of the Dogon by Leard Scranton. They also break down how, you know, these are two good books because they break down how the Dogon tribe, shit, they break down how the Dogon tribe knew of all the stars before his telescopes even existed. And, you know, historians like, you know, the Smithsonian's and all them try to downplay the Dogon tribe like like uh, aliens came and gave them all that knowledge, but whatever. Um, Labeling people is not like Labeling people, because I see a lot of people ask me, like, man, who's controlled opposition, man? Who's who's this? Who's that? It's like, you don't know nothing. You don't know. You could, you, you could have, you could have your own organization. And the fucking feds or the CIA could infiltrate your organization. You don't even, you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even know it. I hear talking about some, who's this, man? I don't know, man. What you think? I don't know, man. You think he controlled? Man, I don't know. It's like, you have no idea what what game somebody... You, you have no idea if somebody's playing checkers or chess. Because everybody, everybody who say... Everybody who say they uh, uh, fucking conscious or they say they woke or they say they're a flat earther or they say they, you know, they a, they a Hebrew or Israelite or they say they this or they that. That shit don't mean shit. If you're not able to, to tell from your own... From your own... Uh, from your own critical thinking and from your own heart chakra, what what's going on and who's who, then it don't matter. 
You dig what I'm saying? Stop looking at the surface of shit. That don't mean shit. That's how you, that's how they get you. It's like, ah, oh, I don't know, man. He said, he said he's the real deal, man. He knows his shit, man. I mean, he he mentioned all these facts, man. Like shit, he mentioned. Uh, he talked about the Masons, man. He talked about uh, Illuminati. He talked about Pizzagate. Fuck, he's got to be the real deal. Like that shit. Get off that shit, man. Start to understand what's really going on and you can recognize who's real and you'll just know. You ain't got to ask nobody. You ain't got to prove yourself to nobody. Ain't nobody got to prove themselves to you. It's a connection. But that's if you know who you are. If you don't, then, you know, then you just, you know, whatever. Like they can take your consciousness, put it, put you in an environment and have you trained for like a hundred years and it's really like five minutes past. And it's also it's also uh, the reason why you can you can fall asleep for two seconds and have a whole goddamn dream just from dozing off and you wake up like oh shit because time is 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 electromagnetism it's a it's a bubble and so and so basically um whew, what was I so basically there a lot of people are involuntarily involved in this in this cloning shit and the cloning is not just being a clone. It's not like we're gonna give you a new body and control you. It's like that's not what it is. It's it's the consciousness transfer. It's this it's a it's this breakaway civilization that started that's been going on for, for eons and, and and eons. It's no telling if, if this has been happening for thousands of years or millions of years, but either way it's a time loop. We're stuck in this time loop because a parasitic infection came and um I don't know, it, it, it got in here. I, I have to look up a way to express it so that everybody understands it. But but basically, um, uh, a, I, it, it doesn't really matter. Like However you want to look at it, uh, a parasitic infection, if you want to look at it like aliens, if you want to look at it like, uh, um, I don't know, but there was a, basically a, a, a parasitic infection and it took over this this realm that we're in. This world isn't supposed to be what it is. That's why all this bullshit is going on and ain't nobody, like like judges ordering police officers to tase people in court. Like all this bullshit that happens with the police brutality and the missing people and the, the um, everybody harboring all these pedophiles and this sex trafficking and child child trafficking all this shit like why is all that shit happening these motherfuckers got all this knowledge and access to your personal information they they know where everybody is with their iPhones they know where your fingerprints are they know your face they can find bin Laden in the cave but they can't find all these sex traffickers they can't find all these people kidnapping these kids now that's some bullshit you know what I'm saying is it's a reason for that shit like it's not that they don't know, they do know, and they're all in on it. And so they have to feed this parasitic entity and that is controlling this realm. And and the only way to end this is to stop feeding the beast. It's to stop feeding the parasite. It's not gonna happen from it's not gonna happen from uh, us rioting in the streets. It's not gonna happen from us marching up to the White House. What's gonna happen is y'all gonna educate yourselves and y'all gonna detox your bodies. And y'all gonna spread this knowledge and spread this information until everybody knows and we stop feeding this parasite and we fucking end this uh, matrix illusion.